Hello, this is a model of, uh, of the HAB head and uh, we're going to use it to uh, study the respiratory system and it will show the upper portion of the, of the respiratory system and uh, the respiratory system starts with, with the opening to the, the outside uh, and uh, these are the nostrils and uh, the air will uh, will move down to uh, to the next part uh, and this area in here is the nasal uh, passages or it's also called nasal cavity and uh, some of the things you uh, you can see in uh, in the model in here are the nasal canchi and there are three of them these are bone structures uh, the lower one in here is the inferior and the middle one here is the middle and the top one in here is the superior nasal canchi uh, these are also known as the turbinate bones and they are important structures uh, of the nasal uh, cavity uh, because uh, along with the epithelium lining uh, in this area in here uh, they will provide the air with uh, uh, warm temperature, uh, moisture and also the cilia and uh, the mucous secretions of the goblet glands uh, will act like a filter to trap particles in the air um, in, in this area also we can see uh, two of the uh, paranasal uh, sinuses. Uh, the, the one in here is the uh, frontal sinus uh, which is associated with the frontal bone. And uh, this one in here is the sphenoid sinus uh, which is associated with the sphenoid bone. Uh, the air will, uh, will move down from the nasal cavity uh, down to the next part of the respiratory system uh, which is the pharynx and uh, in this area in here uh, we can see uh, two of, uh, of the tonsils uh, so uh, uh, this one in here uh, represents the pharyngeal uh, tonsil and uh, uh, this one down in here uh, represents the uh, palatine uh, tonsils. Uh, also it's important in here uh, to notice the structure of the roof of the mouth so we have the bony structure in here which represents the hard palate and this will connect to the uh, soft uh, palate at the posterior end which is made of uh, basically uh, muscle tissue and connective tissue and then at the tip in here we have the alveoli uh, which is a structure that's associated uh, with uh, uh, snoring sometimes because it will close the uh, part of the opening where the air flows down into, uh, into the pharynx. Uh, the next part that comes after the, the pharynx is the larynx area and uh, in the larynx area uh, we have cartilages and we, uh, we also have uh, what's known as the uh, false and through uh, vocal cords. Uh, some of the cartilages that you, you can see in this model is the epiglottis, that's the epiglottis in here. Uh, that will close the opening to, uh, to the larynx. Uh, the opening of the larynx is in this area in here which is called the glottis. Uh, the other cartilage that's visible on the model which is part of the larynx is uh, this cartilage in here which is the thyroid cartilage. The, the vocal uh, uh, chords in here, which are the names now, they, they are they different, there's two of them. Uh, the one on, uh, on the top is known as the vestibular uh, fold, 
and uh, the one below it uh, in here uh, is uh, is known as the uh, uh, vocal uh, folds uh, because these are the ones that we basically use to uh, make the sounds. Uh, the other thing that's important to uh, to notice in here is this part in here behind or posterior to the larynx uh, that represents the esophagus which is part of the uh, digestive system so uh, that is part of the respiratory system uh, that is shown on the half head model